If you're selling on Amazon and you're not using a reward credit card and more specifically a cashback credit card for all of your business expenses, you're leaving money on the table. So in this video, I'm gonna explain why you need to be using a cashback credit card. I'll show you which cashback credit card I recommend and I'll show you how to get 75 pounds completely free when you sign up with them. And if you stick around at the end of the video, I'll show you which expenses you can and should be putting through your credit card and which expenses you can't as an Amazon seller. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so we've got a lot to cover, but as always, I'm gonna keep this video quick and to the point. So let's kick this off by talking about why you should be using a cashback credit card for all of your business expenses. So the first reason is improved cash flow. So let's look at an example here. Let's say that you are purchasing some stock from China and you're gonna be shipping that stock by sea. So it's gonna be about 60 days between paying for that stock and actually recouping some of that money into your business. Now, if you pay with your business debit card, you're taking money out of your business that you own and you're locking it up in stock for around 60 days. Now, this is going to have a really big impact on your cash flow. So let's say during those 60 days, another one of your ASINs needs to be restocked. You may not have enough cash in your business to be able to do that. And you're just not going to be able to scale your business effectively. By using a credit card to pay for that stock instead of a debit card, you're paying for that stock with someone else's money. So you're not taking any money out of your business. It's gonna have no effect on your cash flow. And for most credit cards, you have a 30 to 60 day interest free period. So let's say you're using a 60 day interest free credit card. You don't actually have to pay that money back for 60 days. And by that point, the stock will be in the UK, it'll be selling on Amazon and you'll be recouping some of that money into your business anyway. So by using a business credit card for all of your expenses, you're basically giving yourself one to two months of additional interest free uh, cash flow, which can really help you scale your business. Now, there is one caveat to that, and that is that you should only use a business credit card to pay for expenses that you're 100% sure that you're gonna be able to pay off in the future, obviously, and you need to make sure that you set up a direct debit so that you pay off your full balance on your credit card at the end of every month because guys, if you don't do that, yeah, then the interest rates kick in and then you start to be hit with really high interest rates. So credit cards are great for short-term borrowing that you can pay off to help your cash flow, really bad for long-term borrowing. The second reason why you should be using a credit card for your business is the protection it offers. So if you purchase goods or services using your business debit card, there's absolutely no protection there. So if you pay for those goods or services and then those goods end up being damaged or that person doesn't actually provide the service to the standard that you expect, there's really no protection apart from just asking them to give your money back or going to the police, obviously, if it's really serious. But with a credit card, all of your purchases are protected. So if you have any problem with the goods or services provided, you can get in contact with your credit card provider and ask them to do something called a chargeback where they bring the money back into your account. So that's the second huge advantage of using a credit card. Now, the third and final reason why you need to be using a credit card for your Amazon business expenses is the rewards offered with these credit cards. If you use a debit card for your purchases, you get absolutely no rewards, but using a credit card, you can often get some awesome rewards. So when it comes to credit cards, there's really three kind of categories they fall into when it comes to rewards. Number one are credit cards that offer no rewards. Number two are credit cards that offer points. So this tends to be one point per pound spend. And then those points need to be spent on really specific things. So to give you a really well-known example, Avios points, you tend to get one Avios point per pound spent, and then you can use those Avios points specifically on British Airways BA products. Now, obviously points credit cards are better than credit cards that offer no rewards. Um, however, because you have to spend them in one place, it's a bit of a con. So in my opinion, the third and final type of reward credit cards are the best, and those are cashback credit cards. With cashback credit cards, you earn a percentage cashback based on your spend, and then you can use that cash back on anything you like. You're not restricted. Now, the problem with these cash back credit cards is that in general, they have quite low percentages. It tends to be about 0.25% or half a percent. Um, there's very few that offer good percentages. However, there is one cash back credit card that offers 1% uncapped cash back on all spend. So that's one, pen, one pence for every one pound that you earn. And I'll tell you what that is in just a sec. So which credit card do I use and which one do I think is best for Amazon FBA UK sellers? 
Well, this is the one, the Capital on Tap 1% cashback credit card. So why do I think that this is the best credit card for Amazon FBA UK sellers? Well, the first reason is that it offers 1% uncapped cashback on all of your business spend. So like I mentioned earlier, you earn one pence for every one pound you spend on this card on all of your business expense. Now, this may not sound that great, but actually it's far better than any of the other credit cards out there. So for example, if you're comparing it to an Avios point where you earn one point per pound, an Avios point is actually worth less than a pound. So to give you an example, I recently uh, flew to Ibiza and this is a little um, uh, picture that I took on the BA flight. And as you can see, a can of Coke cost two pounds 30 in cash, or 330 Avios points. So this is a perfect example, just showing that actually Avios points are worth less than one pence each. So you're always better off with a 1% cashback credit card. And it really does add up. So for instance, last year, I spent around 70,000 pounds on my Capital on Tap credit card. I earned about 700 pounds and all of that cashback was actually tax free. So I just took that out and went on a holiday. So it really does add up. Next, they have awesome support. So They've got 24 seven phone support based in the UK. I think they also reply to emails. I think they say within four hours and they've also got 12 hour uh, eight to eight chat support. So compared to most other banks out there, most other credit card providers out there, their support is far, far better. The next thing, and this is really important for Amazon sellers, they have no foreign exchange fees. So the majority of credit card providers will actually charge you foreign exchange fees. So for example, let's say if you're buying stock on Alibaba and you're paying in US dollars, if you're using a credit card from a standard high street provider, they tend to charge you either a poor exchange rate or some fees to actually transfer, you know, exchange, sorry, your pounds to dollars. With a capital and tap card, they don't actually charge you any foreign exchange fees, which is actually huge and really rare uh, in the credit card world. Next, it's accepted on Amazon as a charge method, and we'll come back to that a little bit later. It's also 100% free. They do have a hundred pound a year card option and a free option, but the hundred pound a year card option doesn't really offer any advantages. So just stick with the free one. And finally, you can get 75 pounds completely free when you signed up because they have a refer a friend bonus. So if you are planning on using them, make sure to use the link down in the description. I'll also add it as a pinned comment. It'll take you to a page that looks like this. You just need to fill in the form and make sure that this referral code is entered here. If the referral code is not entered, I'll just make sure that I also include it in the description and the link below. So yeah, in my opinion, the Capital on Tap 1% cashback credit card is by far the best credit card out there for Amazon sellers and just credit card out there generally for most businesses in the UK. It really, there's no other card that offers the same level of rewards, even paid card, let alone any free card. So yeah, this is definitely the one that I would personally recommend. The only kind of con or thing that you really need to be aware of though with this card is that it may not be right for you if you're a sole trader. So they only accept limited companies. So if you're operating as a sole trader, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to use this card. And they only accept businesses that are turning over over 2,000 pounds per month or 24,000 pounds per year. So if you fall into the bracket where you're either operating as a sole trader or turning over less than that, you're probably best just going with one of the high street bank credit cards instead. Okay, so once you've actually got your business credit card, whether it's Capital on Tap or another bank, which expenses can you actually put through your credit card? Well, the first expense you can and definitely should be putting through your credit card are all of your software subscriptions. So if you're using Helium 10 or Jungle Scout, make sure that you switch to putting those through your credit card. Next, if you're purchasing any stock, on Alibaba or any other platform, again, make sure you're putting that through your credit card. Obviously, if you're using Capital on Tap, there's no foreign exchange fees, as I mentioned before, uh, but you wanna be putting those through your credit card because that's gonna be one of your business, biggest expenses and that's where you're gonna really be earning quite a lot of cash back. Next, you want to add this on Amazon as your charge method. Now, unfortunately, you can't put all of your Amazon fees through a credit card. Your Amazon fees automatically get deducted from your turnover and it leaves you with a balance and there's no other way to do that. But what you can do is you can actually make sure that all of your PPC expenses, all of your PPC spend is charged to a credit card instead of removed from your turnover. And I'm gonna show you just how to do that. So what you wanna do is you wanna log into Seller Central and go to your Amazon advertising platform. 
Then in the bottom left hand corner, you wanna click on the administration cogs and come up to sponsored ads billing. That's gonna take you to a page that looks like this. Then you just wanna make sure you click change payment method. That will then take you to this option. Now, seller account method is gonna be the automatically selected method and that's where Amazon takes your PPC spend away from your revenue to leave you with your balance. What you wanna do instead is click on credit or debit card and then obviously just enter your credit card details. Now, as you guys know, as Amazon sellers, Amazon PPC is one of your biggest costs as well. So this is a great way to earn more cash back. You can also use your business credit card for any business expense where you're able to pay using a card. Now, there are some business expenses that you can't actually use your credit card for. And I didn't actually really know this until I got a credit card but credit cards are different to a bank account. So if there are any business expenses where you cannot pay by card, and instead you need to pay by either making a deposit or a transfer, you're not gonna be able to use your credit card for that. With a credit card, you can't actually transfer or deposit money from your credit card into someone else's bank account. So things like accountancy fees and things like that tend to be billed by deposit or transfer for those kind of expenses. You're gonna to have to use your debit card instead. But for anything that you can pay on by card, you can use your credit card for those expenses. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a like. Make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell turned on so you never miss a video. I'll see you in the next one with lots more content just like this.